of these movements that he inserts himself into. He just does it because it's hot at the moment and he wants to get paid. Well, and because because he's a pop star. Well, but and go I'll, ahead, Carol. I'll say this. So anybody that thinks that that Kendrick's issue is color obviously didn't listen to the tracks because he has way more issues with Drake than that. Yeah, yes. it's, it's way. Like, it's way it was evident. Head. It was evident. His his list is long. Mm. It yeah. is the Epstein angle. The shit I expected. If you expect someone to t- uh, <laughs> pay to Epstein, that's why do not you, why good. Do you, yeah, that means that means that you're Yo. you know you're doing questionable activities. That yeah, when would I probably say that when I was driving around without car insurance, I expected to get pulled over all the time. You just worry yeah. about that shit. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Yeah, that should be a clip right if you there. Don't, <laughs> if you don't get, you got insurance, <laughs> you ain't worried yeah. about it. Yeah. Leave it there. That's no good. Yeah, kids, uh, but that's them actually at that age when they're doing that, they're 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 on the path. They're they're, in a they're good figuring shit path. out. Yeah. Yeah, they're on a oh, good yeah, no, he's, they're experimenting. He's mm. figuring out a lot of stuff, man. That's he's, that's why you put covers over the plugs. That's tough. Oh, yeah. I told, like I told yeah. you, man. He I know. knows. I know. He's like, Fork, this goes in here. No. <laughs> but, like uh, today uh, he Today he grabbed a knife by the blade, man, and like he was the golden child or something, man. I was like, no, how about the golden explain child this reference. to your mom? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's funny. Um, I le- I like to um, not have my daughter hurt on my watch. Like if she gets hurt, I wanted to be at a mom, yo. That's Real all shit. I'm trying to do, bro. I mean, I'm yo, trying not to your, have no mom, yeah. no injuries on, not on my watch. True indeed. Uh, this weekend picked up JC. Uh, she has to realize you can't run to the street. What the fuck? So mm. I, I see she's right there at the sta- stairways. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like 20 yards out. And she just starts taking off to the car. But I'm not, I'm backing up to the, to the, I'm like, what the fuck? So I had to tell her, I, yeah, don't run to the street. So I pick her up. She said, I got my hair done. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and she said, I have my Crocs on. I'm like, okay, cool. But look, you little motherfucker, don't run into the goddamn street. Yeah, and then we celebrated Mother's Day on Sunday with my mom. Uh, she was being an ass, and uh, she ran through the street again. So I pick her up, put my hand on the chin like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, don't run on the motherfucking street no more. I'm serious with you. She said, she said. Like, okay. He's really serious, though. I've never seen. My dad just mad at me. But yeah, I'm telling you, don't run into the street. Yeah. You can yeah, play yourself, get knocked out and killed. Now it's okay you get hurt on your mom. You run into the street with your mom, get hit by a car. It's all love. No, Ooh. trust me, it <laughs> won't be. <laughs> you <know, laughs> taught her how to do this. <laughs> and she's laying in the street going, Daddy said to do it when you were around, Mommy. Yeah, exactly. That's not cool. Because yeah, kids yeah, snitch, yeah. boy. They have yeah. no chill. Uh, nah, I be trying to be, be very mindful of that. Like, okay, let me not go certain places and do certain things around <laughs> Ash because I don't need him to to learn yeah. how to talk and give a report. Uh, Remember yo, when you left th- me in the car? What? <laughs> that's a, that's a big one, yo. Right there, probably. Uh, that's why I like to take her out of the car everywhere we go, even though it's a pain in the ass. You know what I'm saying? And she always asks to get out anyway. So, yeah. So so anyway, um, Pearl, how you doing, bro? I'm great. I'm great. Rocking yeah. my 100 Miles Biggie uh, t-shirt. So indeed, man. Happy 100 Miles Day. Day. Yeah. So yep. indeed. Toronto, we got big stuff for Toronto <laughs> in this episode, yo. Whoa. Hey, yo, Primo Jack, why you steal my hoodie? I didn't, man. Ron Puma is just such an illustrious and dope individual, man, that he sent he sent me a hoodie as well, man, and I love it. So I had to, I had to rep, man. I like when the he, color scheme. When he sent those, did he also send the sticker pack with it? No, I didn't get a sticker pack. Oh. Uh, I didn't get a sticker pack either. Oh. Uh, You're special. Uh, that's okay. I mean, that's all right. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm cool dope, with the hoodie. The, dope sticker The hoodie's pack. straight. I got some shoes that it matches, man. So, you know, they, they've been, it's like they were waiting to be matched with the, the hoodie. Nice. So, you know, 
I said mm-hmm. I'll wear it. I'll wear it on the internet because there's no there's no temperature on the internet. So with the uh, also the hoodie fits immaculately. I think champions is something to the to the e- eco fleece. It's a the good tag. Even different. Yeah, the tag is even different. Cut. It might be a different type of champion fleece. I have to go check. I haven't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the gray abyss hoodies. If y'all uh, got one of those, those fit excellent. Mm-hmm. And those black ones right there fit excellent. You know what I'm saying they fit. And oh, the gray, the gray abyss hoodie. Ain't nothing fucking with it. Like boom, there's no limp balls mm. on it. Months later, you know what I'm yep. saying? Word. So it's, yeah. it's these are high quality. Maybe champions step their game up with their thread count. <laughs> know what I mean? Word. Hey man, shout old, out, man. shout out all the good merch providers out there, man. Shout out everybody who's really coming through, blessing the people with good, high quality merch. And mm-hmm. not only is it high quality, but you're delivering it in uh impeccable time. Um, yeah, man. I've 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 acquired several new pieces. You know, I know I said I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't going to. Uh, but you know, I, I had to, I had to do it, man. You know, do I, it. I, I, I had to do it. I got a couple of, I got a couple that we'll, we'll see. They'll make their appearance coming out. This is, this is the first of the new, the new pieces. I was going to rock uh, an older quote unquote, a, a vintage joint today, but I said, no, nah, man, let me rep for Ron Puma, man. So indeed, a good dude. Yeah. And I am repping for the New York Knicks who are man, right now. Y'all still in, in it. Yes, we are. The baby bulls ain't in there, and the freaking uh, no. Maple Leafs are out. The hey, Cubs, now, Cubs, well, and, that's, I mean, I mean, it's a different sport, but I understand. Oh, they lost? I was, they lost, bro. But so it's over now, seven, right? right? That, that's it? Nah, not for the whole entire Stanley Cup playoffs. Oh, no. I, thought it, I thought that was it. No. Nah, man. Uh, Jaguars in uh, Boston play. That should be a good shit, because last year... Jaguars? Who are the yeah. Jaguars? Florida. Florida. Panthers. Oh, the Florida Panthers. Okay. Just, I was about I was, to I was, say, I was like, they got a Jaguar? My bad, Carl. My oh, bad, good. Matt. All those guys out there. Boom, I wasn't going to be, be the correct series. guy. I was going to let you roll with it. <laughs> you was going to be primo jab. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, look, I've done very well at not at not correcting people, like, haven't I? Man, do it. Yeah. Please. I'm trying, I, I I'm want, trying not to, wrong. man. Uh, yeah, I don't, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, only, I'm only correcting people if it's egregiously wrong. If it's misinformation or something, but if it's a if it's a, a wrong word or a wrong pronunciation of a word, man, I'm gonna let you live, man. Like I I, I get it. Everybody knows what you were saying. I'm not gonna be the <laughs> the dick who acts like I didn't understand you were trying to say one word just because you you pronounced it wrong. Like I hate people yeah. like that, man. That's that's a dickhead move. Mm-hmm. Like, you know is, exactly but, what yeah. they were saying, man. Stop, you stop said, being yeah, like yeah. that, man. What if they? What if they? They have English as a second language. Maybe they didn't come up speaking English the same way you did. So, you know, whatever, man. Like, come on, man. And besides, yeah. you ain't a, you ain't an English teacher. Shut <laughs> up, <laughs> well, man. Right, right. People put out stuff different ways as well in different parts of the. Uh, Planet or country, no yeah, same word. Absolutely, w, right. aluminium. W. Yep, those <laughs> damn Brits can't even pronounce that word. Aluminium. Exactly. Let me turn this light on before we get started. Terrible. You know, episode one. I love yeah, it. What is this? Aluminium. Yeah, one forty-two. One forty-two, bro. One forty-two. Right. We are closing in on one hundred and fifty episodes. We are. Uh, boom. This is uh, a quite a different episode. We're not going to donate too much time to this, but as you guys know. And there's a reason why we're doing this. I think it's a great idea to have this uh, narrative, this conversation about this issue, about this beef with uh, Drake and Kendrick Lamar, because there's a bigger picture with the with everything aligning up together in this thing. I think this beef at first was so whack and so corny and so um, it just showed how bad the rappers are, yo, like how. Yeah. How uh, horrible they are. Okay, first Rick. Okay, first you had the uh, what was it? The Metro Boom and shit like that. Which is yeah. I, I guess future, the future um, joint. Mm-hmm. And uh, the sample was off. Uh, that's the same sample as the song I like. Uh, Bust a nigga head. Uh, slap a hoe. Yeah. Shoot the club up. That was a ball and MJG. MJG. That's why I kind of I like kind of like that. Yeah, bust a nigga head. Slap a hoe. But shoot really, it was up. sampled yeah. from like some old UGK, uh, wasn't Philly rappers? No, really. Some old- yeah, it's a super old head song, man. It's like really? search, searching for a perfect beat. Not no, that's a band body in there. But no, it's a super. Mm-hmm. It's an old song. I'll find uh, out and I'll get back at y'all in a second. But yeah, it's it's sampled from um, an old song prior to 
the song that you're talking about. Bust the nigga heads. Don't don't want yeah. no drama. No drama. I think is what the so, song's called. And hey I'm, man, yeah. shout out shout out that Eight Ball MJG album that Puffy put out because it was actually one of their best albums. Living Legends. Uh, oh, it's absolutely yeah, well, one yeah, of their well, best yeah, 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 it's actually really really. Uh, so yeah, it's nigga very like good. me gonna get money oh, man, to boy, like get rich. On. Right. Oh you know, my I worked God. on that video. I worked on that video. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck Lloyd yeah, I worked Sammy. on that video. Fuck Lloyd and Sammy. Sammy's really Man, good you know, this, this yeah. one time I was in Buckhead. <laughs> uh, me and Bless were in Buckhead. This is the old days of Buckhead. You know, back when it had the uphill and the bottom of the hill and oh, yeah, the clubs, the clubs, the clubs yeah, and barnacles. everything. Yeah, barnacles. So, oh shit. Uh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> Lloyd was out there with his uh, guy, and this was like right after I shot a video with him or something. And for whatever reason, I had a I had a grudge or a disagreement with Lloyd, and I didn't really like him at the point in time so i i approached him you know we we were gonna beat the shit out of him but he has a pistol on us man him and his boy have pistols on us but they did it real smooth like we walked up you know like you know thinking that we were just gonna tommy tough guy punch him in the mouth or something <laughs> and he and he just kind of scratched his head with the pistol i said mm. i said how you doing this evening like, yeah. <laughs> i was like I was like, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. His guy was sitting there. He had, it, he, had his, he had it on his side and he was doing like this. I said, hmm. I was like, all right, bro. I'll holler at y'all, man. Y'all have a good evening. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you have a good one. I was like, hmm. Okay. Touche, Lloyd. Touche. Word, word. That's kind of yeah. dope, yo. That's yeah. hilarious. Oh, hey, man, you know. Hey, oh, everybody, my everybody, God. Hey. That's something out of a movie. I saw Lloyd at Walmart on Panola Road <laughs> when it first opened, and he was in a like a th- in a Chevy. And I was like, "Oh, you Lloyd?" And he looked spooked, like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, yeah, and that's like, his like, typical yeah. mo. Right. He always looks shook because looks he knows spooked. people be trying to get him. Because no, knows I was he just has- like, "What's up?" I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, Murder Inc." Right? I'm like what? God, yeah, yeah, but, whatever. I mean, yeah, but anyway, yeah, man, man, shout out yeah. Lloyd. I like I like his songs, man. He, he's yeah. all right. Yeah, hey, one time I was listening to a Lloyd song. I was like, man, this girl's singing her ass off. Like, oh, that shit's Lloyd. <laughs> same, thing, same, same, th- same thing happened with uh, Chris Brown on the Nas album. I heard, we, we are always run the world or some shit like that. I was like, man, this girl's singing hard. I hate this song, though, bro. I looked at the, uh, that's Chris Brown's this bitch singing? Yeah. Anyway. So, um, it's a larger so issue. <laughs> yeah, it's the larger issue is Lloyd sounds like a girl. Anyway, yeah. Uh, anyway, though. Uh, no, no, no. Anyway, the oh, largest issue it's is called Rod- yeah. Oh, yeah, Rodney right. Owen, Joe Cooley from Philly. Uh, okay, it's okay. called Everlasting Bass. Yeah. Rodney Owen, Joe Cooley. That's it. Right. Yeah, but shout out to um, Lloyd, man, because he does make good music. He, he actually yeah, he can does. sing really high. He but does yeah. make good music, man. Yeah, uh, but we're going back to uh, this right here, the eight ball MJG record, whatever. But uh, it was a sample, the same sample. That's why I kind of like that, like that song with Future. Uh, yeah. And uh, Kendrick Lamar, and he did all that shit or whatever. <laughs> so all of a sudden, Drake releases push-ups. Um, well, there was a, a a J Cole track and an apology. Oh yeah, there you go. I I missed all that. Cole. Yeah, let's, let's so do, Are we going to do the whole timeline, the whole chron- chronology? I've, I've this, got it. Of this foolish. Oh, you go do? Ahead. Yeah, oh, with oh, Dave. Let's go. So, so how? So how about this, let's Carl? Go. You you go ahead and narrate this, and I will chime in. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so. Like that yeah, was off. like that was was dropped on the twenty second of March, and okay. really the, I mean, the music was good. the The bars were okay, you know. Like, yeah, the biggest thing was that you know he compared himself to Prince and and Drake to MJ, um, and said you know Prince outlasted Mike Jack, um. You know, and then just saying that there isn't a big three, it was just him. But there wasn't anything really like dangerous like, about like it. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't it, you know, it was just soft, soft body shots, right? Mm. Okay. And well, then good, good call. Okay. Jay Cole had his his track that came out and then he apologized for it. So I don't even know that it's worthy of really talking about it's worth mentioning. Yeah, he please took, no mention took, it. He took yeah, it off it. Though. Didn't take it off he, he took it off streaming services as well, I believe. Yeah. He did take it he put out a whole album. Uh, called Might Delete Later, and then he deleted only that song. Right. Not none of the other songs off of there. Which is funny because the, the album name being that 
he was talking about that track. So, mm -hmm. and then April 13th Data is when, activity. when Drake came back with push ups. Um, and that's I, I not still, really, I never heard that song. I, I never heard, heard that is, one. And honestly, um, to be fair, it's not that bad, but it's not what I would call a battle track as far as battling. This is a song with with some bars like that uh he's going at people, he's going at more than one person other than Kendrick, right? Think about in, in, think about this though. And and I'm not siding with Drake. I think it was a weak attempt at at coming back. But I think Drake is more approaching it from a I also want to write a hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. aspect of it and and when yeah. you're doing that obviously you're not going to go in as hard you're not going to because you don't want to alienate and so you're trying to keep it on the lighter side because you obviously want it to be a successful song yes on radio <laughs> and then hmm. he comes back out with the taylor made track on the 19th and that's the one that had the ai tupac in it oh that yeah was that was a corner. fail yeah, that was a fail. No, nah, no, nah, it really wasn't. That was wet. It really, a, it wasn't okay. It wasn't really a fail because Snoop Dogg was reposting it and people were talking about it. Got people talking. He he wanted this yes. to be the bait to make Kendrick but, Lamar come out and do a song. He kept on asking him to drop. I mean, drop, is that drop, really the goal song. though? Because Drake can fart in a microphone yes. and people are going to talk about it. But it's not what he wants. You see, he makes songs for his fans for approval because he wants to be liked. Yeah. But I'm, I mean, also, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Is no. a, a pop artist? Well, yes, yes, what you do, but he I mean, doesn't consider himself a pop artist. He doesn't look in the mirror and think, think he, he think he's a pop artist. He think he, uh, sure he, he a real nigga. He thinks he's, he thinks he's like Michael Jackson. He thinks he's a real nigga. He think he, he is a, he, he think he's a no, he uh, one of the, um, yeah, he, no, a he top boy. It. Yes, he does. <laughs> he think he's a top shotter. <laughs> he think he, he think a, top, he is. a top boy. He does. A top well, Michael shotter. Jackson he he did too. Michael mm -hmm. Jackson kind of was. Yeah, Mike. Mike was. Mike was a reputable, supposedly man. The, the, yeah. There are various. There are various uh, Rolling Sixties and Eight Trays that'll be like, "Oh yeah, Mike. Mike Jackson. Oh yeah, he, he did good for the hood." Like what? Yeah. But Drake yeah. does. Drake does have some certified guys around him coming from reputable guys in Toronto. But he, these are not guys he hung out with as as a youth. These are guys that are not really his friends. These are guys that really like. Break brought along. They are Crips. That's why uh uh freaking um the whole Crody thing with uh what's Macaulay? Crody. This is this is from guys we know. They're coming to me and telling me about this shit. About right. this beef. So so it's just reptile. They live in tr Toronto, Brampton. If you want to put those two together and be like, oh, this is the person that we're talking about here. They're the reputable guys that wouldn't lie, that um don't have a stake in this, even though I think that uh one of our friends, a Future Wave Drake album would do him good right now with Drake. I, I, I would listen to it. I'd pay yeah. good money to hear a Future Wave Drake album. I would want to hear I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I would want to hear it. I don't know that that would necessarily be an upswing for him, you know, the al career wise. The algorithm. The algorithm. An upswing for Drake? Yeah. I think, well, see, this is the thing, man. You're like, right. I agree. It's Go not ahead. about. I don't think at this point it's about him trying to make a career statement piece, right? I think it's about him just proving I really get busy because that's mm -hmm. been a lot of the talk that he's been trying to push has been like, yeah, oh, you got yeah, me yeah, out here. Now I'm, me. Now I'm yeah. ready to exercise again. Oh, thanks, guys. I needed this. It's like, what? What you, what you mean you needed this? I mean, ain't nobody really thought Drake, uh, no real, real rappers think Drake is super there's probably like three or four percent you hear guys like uncle luke and people talk that drake is undefeated and shit like that but they're oh, not really yeah. luke? Luke, luke said, said drake, that luke, luke said drake is undefeated apparently he didn't hear the push of t songs thank you i was about to say yeah come on uncle luke uncle luke know better than that man uncle luke don't know then you know what i'm saying point blank period yeah. um that has to be coming from a place of uh of, of definitely a blind spot he, uh, he he's yes. missing out on something. But Carl, before we move on, uh, both mm -hmm. you guys, how did y'all feel about the AI with the uh, Tupac and? Uh, I thought it was trash. I thought it was a terrible, a terribly executed idea. Um, I get I get what his point was, 
of trying to do that. But number one, Snoop Dogg's still alive. So that was that's whack. Yeah. Right. Snoop Dogg. That's that's why I thought Snoop was reposting the whole thing was because he was like, yo, bro, this isn't me. Don't think this is me. That was the whole reason I thought he was even sharing it. But number two, the it was just like like how the kids say it's cringy. Right. You know, it's like, you know, I mean, it was like it's really it was really just kind of whack. And and you could tell, like, you're too far removed from really like having your finger on the pulse of of what's cool and what's not for you to even consider doing an AI version of of Tupac calling him out like that was okay I get it I mean I, I understand and I understand I understand what you were going for I get it but it was like that was you lost hey what what rock marcy say you lost 500 gangster points right there playboy <laughs> that's it you know what I mean like well, that yeah. that you, that was whack <laughs> so that's Tupac why I wouldn't arrive with him. I, no. I will say that that AI in general I'm not a big fan of. Um mostly because the repercussions of it going bad, you know, people misusing it, it's just too extreme. Mm-hmm. Um as far as this instance, I just think it was childish and dumb. Um, you know, it's disrespectful at at the very least, it's disrespectful. But I think, you know, it's just it was a stupid idea. Um, yeah, I think it was too corny, corny yeah, and, cringy. And, and cringy. I think, yeah, Primo Jab <laughs> nailed it. Cringy is definitely the best way I would describe it. Absolutely, man. Uh, kind see. of a dorky move, man. It was really I mean, but he's a dork. You know, I mean, I think that's the one thing that we're always going to go back to. Shout out Big Ghost, you know, because he's he's always pushed this gospel. I mean, Aubrey's a dork, man. I mean, it's, you know, he's a dork. He's going to do dorky stuff. He's going to do things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he really is. I'm looking at some of these lyrics right here, and it's like, really? I don't know. He was really setting, um, oh, yeah, Shakur's estates of subsequently uh, threatened legal action. Uh, They disobeyed, disappointed, unauthorized unauthorized use of Tupac's voice and personality. Not only is this record a flagrant violation of Tupac's uh, a state and legal rights is a blatant abuse of the legacy of one of the greatest hip hop artists of all time. The mm-hmm. state would never have given this approval for use. <clears throat> Holy shit! Yeah, they weren't very pleased nope. because it, I mean it was because it was it wasn't even like it was creative. It wasn't it wasn't like no. And then he it, took it, it down and, it, and then replaced it with his own rap on it. Yeah, yeah. Which he should have done exemplary. in the first place. If you want to say it, say it. Say it. You know. <clears throat> Like at first, before I realized it was AI, I, that's what I thought it was. Like I thought it was Drake pretending to be Biggie, it pretending was, to be Snoop. It, it right? is him. It is him rapping, but they put the voice. Oh, they put the, the vocoder people. on the, the yeah, yeah. The vo- that's what. Well, yeah. um, that's yeah. what Beanie Siegel will do whenever he starts rapping again. And uh, that I'm cool with. That's that's a good use of technology. Cool that, like that. Yeah. Beanie so Siegel, DOC. I want them to use the AI voices. That that's gonna be so dope. Indeed. That's beneficial right there. Yeah, but I definitely think what he did. And I, at that point in time, I'm like thinking to myself, the winner in the battle, if Kendrick doesn't drop, will be Kendrick because one verse got Rick Ross mad at Drake. It got Quavo battling Chris Brown, who made me think Chris Brown don't be don't rap no more. Quavo. You a bad rapper. You just make fun songs to get drunk to. It was really bad this time. It was cringy. Uh, Ace, uh, uh, ASAP Rock, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Rap, Rocky, Rocky was going at it with um Drake having a retro retro booming. Mad at everybody's mad at everybody. Oh, Kendrick had the I whole. Got a, yeah, I got a question. Hold on. Um, so the whole Chris Brown and Quavo thing, Zora that bitch. that was because of this. I thought that was, was something totally different. It, I just thought they, they were started shooting strays off at each other also. Because look, it 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 just started because they th- started throwing shots. Oh, you see them fighting over their dis- disagreements. Let me start fighting too. Beef is in the headlines, yeah. so you want to be you the go. beef. There you go. Well, up, oh. up, see. Ah, oh, you said the magic word, Carl. See? Beef. And that's that leads us to the the real before we go further into this chronology, because I'm really, I'm really loving it. I'm really uh, digging this whole explanation 
But yeah, man, we all know. I mean, come on, come on, world. We all know that this is <laughs> a publicity stunt. Like we know oh, yeah. that this is this is a pure marketing scheme that's been put together by all of these teams to to help each other out. Like I don't think. I mean, there may be some bad blood between oh there is Drake there and all is. these other people, but but there's also opportunity. There's opportunity. There's opportunity. Yeah. A lot, yeah, of be made. a lot of money, a lot of, a lot of money, money made. Be made, a lot of money made mm-hmm. of this. Go ahead, go ahead. A lot of people, people that didn't have nothing to do with it. A yeah. lot of money was made. Absolutely right. Yeah. So keep, uh, keep going, Primo J. Or are we ready to go to the next uh, joint? I'm, I, I'm, I'm listening, man. I'm, I got my popcorn out, man. I'm <laughs> learning right, about so, this. So that was April nineteenth. Taylor Made came out, and then uh, April thirtieth, Kendrick re- replies, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, he dropped Euphoria, and mm, yeah. it was the first out of all of these discs where we actually had some bars. Yes, yeah. There you go, Carl. I think. Yeah. I think. Okay, pushups. They had a that's couple a bars in there. The twenty twenty verse no, one. That's, yeah, was no, cool. no, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll give saying? you that. But even yeah, then, it wasn't it as good as not, it could have been. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's actually yeah. a, a hype song. But it, but I got to hear it still. But okay, boom. But this right here made me realize the Euphoria song made me realize. That Drake is making songs for his fans. Kendrick is making a song just for Drake. This is for Drake. This yeah. is not for nobody else. And that's what beef is. The takeover was aimed at a couple p- couple people, not just Nas. You know what I'm saying? But then when Ether dropped, it was just for Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Word. This is for you right here. And that's one of the yeah. You know what it felt like? It felt like two kids were kind of pushing each other in in the parking lot, mm-hmm. and then one of them swung. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't yeah we didn't really well yeah you're right I, definitely 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 like even yeah like you know it was kind of like drake didn't realize they were serious yeah like, oh my oh, god Carl. like you're mad mad oh <laughs> yeah I, I i just don't think drake knows even though they say he's been into squabbles he's been in squabbles with common common released that song you so sweet called him a faggot and all type of shit <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, people right. don't even remember that song. And this the song is not that is, good. Is that yes, shit. but 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 the Drake beef uh, that was over Serena Williams, over a woman. A lot of these beefs are over women. These motherfuckers are rich, yeah. and these beefs are women. This is not over a woman. This right here. So this is something. No, different. this is this is over. This is over actual uh, harsh feelings and resentments between people. Because apparently, it goes back to like Kendrick Lamar and Drake knew each other coming up in the game, right? Mm-hmm. Like 2012, 2013, they mm-hmm. were bigging each other up. They were appearing on each other's albums, you know what I mean? Giving each other decent features, right? But then, um, I think people say, like, when Big Sean's song Control came out, yeah, and, and Kendrick Lamar was going like crazy on there. The Royal Rumble yeah, they, verse. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he, uh, apparently he ruffled Drake's feathers with that verse, and Drake Drake took a lot of offense to it, and he was like, mm-hmm. "You can't say those. You can't say those words. Those is such harsh words." And then see me and think everything's cool. That's not and, okay, and, man. And Kendrick said, "I'm just rapping," which actually it is. Actually, he was giving yeah, everybody yeah, a compliment. Just rapping. He said, yeah. "He said, honestly, if you if your name, he didn't say your name on that verse. That means he he didn't think you were doing a competitor. Competitor. Right. So yeah, yeah. And so he said, "I'm just rapping. Are you serious? It showed you that Drake." Drake's pussy is easily hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it oh, well, always has been. Hold on. That's, that, that takes me to a funny thing, man. Shout out. First of all, shout out Aubrey Graham. Shout out Drake, the actor, for that episode of, uh, I don't know if y'all ever seen him on Saturday Night Live, when um he has this like one skit when he just walks into places and he's like, yeah, hey, how you doing? Can I get a coffee? Yeah, hold on one second, guy. And then all of a sudden, he's writing diss songs in his head like, oh, you <laughs> didn't give me my coffee. I'm going to show you. Ooh, and he's going crazy. Like, that's that's the, Drake is that's hilarious. He's yeah. hilarious, man. I think he's a very talented actor, actually. Mm-hmm. He's pretty yeah. funny. He's very yeah, funny. We're seeing a lot of his Degrassi high clips. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Boy, Game are we? Point. <laughs> Game point and <laughs> he, all types of He was of shit. a great. Now I know why why he ended up in that wheelchair, man. Wheelchair Jimmy was out there. Uh, he was a wide <laughs> stepper, man. He was he was doing a lot of things, man. He was 
He was a mm. bad man. You know, yeah, that's really why was, that's why yeah. he got shot. Mm-hmm. This but anyway, is one of the reasons why Aubrey Graham got shot by Kendrick Lamar in this shit right here. Uh, All right, boom, keep uh, going, keep going. Really, the, uh, I hate the way that you walk. I hate the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. That was I hate funny. The way that you I really this. enjoyed that whole, I catch that whole light, part. Um, the best line in that song, I believe, is we hate the women that you date or something like that because they confuse themselves with real women. Yeah. I felt that line so heavy. So is he you know saying, saying that that Drake dates trans women? No, I think no. that he says he's oh. dating women with no substance. Women oh, yeah. uh, are a whore. I took uh, it a little substance. too literally. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he, that the way I, I'm like you. He, I'm like, uh, I thought that he, he was saying that he uh, the women that you date are plastic. <laughs> you know, they're this is not the like, nightmares. Carl. Yeah. Oh man, yo! I shout was out like, to who is he nightmares. hanging out with backstage? Was hilarious. Man. Dang. Yeah. Who is he hanging out with? Anyway. Yeah, true indeed. But yeah, I do think the the classic term I use is "build a bitch." You just they just yeah. go, yeah. And they got the all the plastic surgeries that he has. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, that he likes that shit. Allegedly. Um, how many more black features? So you finally feeling new black enough. I believe that he did suffer with uh that um you look look at him when he first started <clears throat> and how he did not like black culture. He was like he didn't he thought that the slang and stuff in Toronto was ignorant. He came for that to this. Jeez, it's crazy. I'm I'm I've been a square. But I never thought that people in St. Louis were ignorant for saying her, there and her, were and fitting and stuff like that. I never thought none of that shit was bad. Like, holy shit. But we do think that Drake has did suffered with colorism and fitting in and all type of shit. Uh, that line I, right there, would, yeah, you don't think so? You know, I, I see a lot of people that wanted to turn into professors of uh, anthropology and social yeah. issues and everything and talk all this colorism uh, lack of self esteem bullshit man man fuck all that it was he he said some funny shit that's all it is to it it's but hilarious that's how he felt he was black face I don't yeah that's that's I mean I don't think personally that uh, Drake has ever really had an identity crisis, right? You know, he's what? always been no, he's always been this dorky dude, man. He's always been who he is, man. He's but he always don't think been he this dorky. dude. He, he, he think he cool, but he's really dorky. He, he has incel vibes. He, yeah, he absolutely does. You're right. But not only that, he's the type of dude who is who he is. He's the type of dude that gets a lot of money and takes his revenge. <laughs> That's he's what he's doing. Officer. A police officer. Yeah, That's yeah, what he's he, I can see him do. being a cop. I can see him being a cop. And then bullying all the motherfuckers. Like, yeah, yeah. that's what happened in high school. <laughs> hey, the oh, man. Got cops. You a look familiar. Were you in? Did you go to Miss High class of uh, <laughs> 1996? Oh, man. Were you in oh, Miss Edwards class? Oh, you sat behind me. You used to kick my chair. Why don't you step out the car, sir? <laughs> <laughs> that's real shit, yo. Seeing Carl's reaction sometimes, it throws me, throws me like, like, damn, <laughs> I said something funny. He goes like this. He goes like this. I don't have to come fucked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think here's the deal. I think if Drake would embrace his corniness more and not th- give a fuck about what anybody thinks about him, he'll be better off. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what you he know? did in his recent years. He's been, in, I mean, certified lover boy. That's that was him. Finally, I feel like in these past three years, you know, Drake finally realized, hey, I am a cornball. So what? Your girl likes me and that's who I'm going to be. I feel like he was cool in that. So what about Kendrick asking him not to say the N-word anymore? Oh, that's hilarious. I thought it was, I thought it was funny. I don't think I anybody that was really... I don't think... I think he was just... I don't know, man. I, does he really think that? I, I don't really... <laughs> I, I mean... I think, I think it was diabolical. That you yeah. that you came up with that as a line to say to somebody like you can't say nigga anymore like that was <laughs> <what>? <laughs> uh, 
That's what funny. what is that Kanye song that was uh we don't wanna hear you? What? Yeah, the we Kanye don't wanna hear that whack shit no more. No more. That was Kanye, it's the same yeah. thing. We don't hear that, that put whack your shit no fucking more. heads in That's the high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's the same shit. The same. That's why he said it. Yeah, that's why Mm -hmm. he said it. He said Mm -hmm. it exactly like that. And I mean, it's it's funny because (laughs) again, it feels when you hear Drake say say it, it sounds forced. Or in the resurfaced videos, he says it like uh, you know, a a, a clan member's kid. You know, (laughs) so (laughs) oh man, extra R, extra hard R. You know, like. (laughs) Emphasis on the R. It's like whoa, like hey man, I I guess you just hey, learned up, how to nigga? say this. Yeah, whoa, slow down. That makes, <laughs> slow that makes down. me feel uh, that makes me feel uncomfortable hearing hearing that. Hey, yo, but check it out, man. I, I know I sent y'all pictures of Isaiah Hartenstein, and y'all know what my nephew looks like. Um, Drake is two two shades darker than that, so it's oh, it's, I don't have a problem with Drake. I don't have to sp- explain. His son, my nephew, Isaiah Hartenstein, I'm going to have to explain. Hey, this is my nephew right here. Uh, you, you can say that. I'm going to have to just pull the pistol, man. But I, I, I can't explain. Yeah, I know, nope. my, nope. I know my nephew doesn't say the N-word. He doesn't curse, period. But I don't want to have to explain to nobody. Well, here's, yeah. the, here's the thing. You don't have what's understood doesn't have to be explained. If you are really in the culture like that, if you really are a person that grew up around people and you, you're in the culture, if you're steeped in it, and we're not talking about in the hip hop culture, we're talking about if you are involved in the world of that, like that flavor in it. I mean, that's just what you say. If it's a term and endearment that you're saying, then, you know, it's OK. I don't. You know, I don't care about I, I definitely don't care about nobody's complexion saying whatever. My family, man, I got everybody from dark is dark to bright is bright. And, you know, they yeah. all on the same foot. And not only that, <laughs> may I add, some of the, the brightest dudes are the renegades that'll slit your throat. You know what I mean? And they, yeah, they bright be talking skin. hella shit. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they, 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 clear, they are clear to tell you they are bright skinned. Yes, yeah, they are bright skinned. That's what Isaiah Hardy said. Absolutely right. Bright skin. Absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, man. No shot at it. It's I think it again, the the reason why it was so cringy or the reason why Kendrick Lamar said that to him as a penalty is to further express that Drake is not of the culture truly. That Drake is just a tourist in the culture. So how dare he try to appropriate uh terms of endearment? Yeah. And he can't dribble on Degrassi. He just looks stupid dribbling the basketball. I'm saying he still looks stupid like playing basketball. He really, well, really does. He does. Uh, also, hey, uh, what are we? Go ahead. No, you say it. You say it. Because I, 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 I got another I was, question. I was going to the next the next track, but what are you going to? Oh, that well, that's what I was going to ask. Okay, perfect. So I guess it does fit. Pause. Uh, where does where does Rick Ross fit into this? Did Rick Ross start his his uh diatribes against Drake after this, calling him white boy and all that stuff? When did when did that start? Is that before? That's after Euphoria or before Euphoria? Oh, it was before. before it was before even um, Push Ups came out. Really? Okay, but but Rick Ross never put out any songs. No, Rick right? Ross started talking about everything after the J Cole track was when he, he started. Gotcha. <clears throat> when he, he started, he did put out a song. Rick Ross yeah. did. Yeah, he put a yeah, song. Yeah, out. that's what I'm trying to find out. Yeah, I forget what it is, but it's it was really mid. But he had talking at the end of the track. They talked about him getting the BBL and he called him a white boy. And then uh, what else he <laughs> said? He said he got a nose job. Mm. Um, yeah, it was the talking was better than the rapping. The rapping, yeah. By far. That's by that was far. what I was gonna say. That's why I brought it up, man. Cause Rick Ross I forget what it's called. Has been his anytime he contributes, it's it's always entertaining and very hilarious, man. Rick Ross uh roasts him mercilessly like how you're supposed to roast people that you don't respect you, you're you supposed to just no, talk really shit did, about yeah. them. you ain't supposed to you ain't supposed to send shots stay away you, you know you ain't supposed to lick at them you're supposed to be like man get out of here get out of here you don't even but what, what rick ross said you don't even have a chevy i bet you don't even have a chevy like that's what on. he said he said he said he, he said, rick uh, ross said he, a lot of things it was hilarious he said he, said he uh drink with doctors with no underwear 
that shit was funny, man. I'm like, yo, who does that, man? That's man, messed that's up. Just, uh, that sounds so uncomfortable. That's I'm trying. I'm trying to find a song right uh, now. It was he roasted it was him. Not he good. roasted him for having his airplane. He said, "Yeah, you got an airplane. It's an old one. Who cares? You got so an I'm old airplane." <laughs> yeah, like and, that's a rich it, people roast. I, I thought that was yeah. hilarious. I was like, "Yeah, get him, Rick." It's Ross. like no matter how well you're doing, I'm gonna find some mm-hmm. some flaw. Yep, yep, hilarious. Dude got a lot of money, and he do he do. Yeah, niggas Rick Ross probably does. Fucking. I mean, you know, here and here we are, you know, number one disclaimer to all the listeners in the abyss. Yes, we're we're indulging in this, man. We're listening to this. Why? Because it's fun. Yeah, we're talking about it. Why? Because it's fun, because it's hilarious. It gave us all something to watch, man. And if you're if your heart is too is too uh, stone, stone cold and stoic. And if you're too deep in the underground to even want to acknowledge the hilarity of this battle, you know, it's I'm sorry, man. You you realer than me, then I guess, because this is hilarious. Oh, check it out. Okay, the song is called Champagne Moments, and it's really funny because it has oh, the I'm picture is the picture has Drake as a white man looks like Troy Aikman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Champagne Moments. Uh, okay, to this point right oh now, oh my god, this is so beat, hilarious, man. Before before Euphoria, which Euphoria is okay, it's it's good, but it's not no uppercut being thrown really. Euphoria. Before that, it was just funny. Right. It was, it's like, yeah, but Euphoria was like, it, it brought some like, um, like I was like, okay, this is kind of getting okay. Uh, then we move into what? So um, <laughs> then um, May 3rd, just a couple of days later, Kendrick drops another one, 616 in LA. Yeah. And, you know, shout out to Steven and Malenko from the All Time Podcast. They had done a, Steve, a follow up episode. What's up, fellas? Uh, they had done a really great episode covering Reasonable Dirt with Pro Dillinger. Um, yeah. But they they did a follow up. And, you know, as they were talking about this, Stephen had said that it was more like, you know, just kind of an extra little piece. It really wasn't anything shocking. And, and I agree. It, it was kind of like it was a little topping. You know, mm-hmm. I gave you a meal. Here's here's a little dessert. Here's a little something extra. Mm-hmm. Um, just to kind of poke at the bear, as as Stephen was saying, just mm-hmm. you know, to try to kind of rub it in a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, I you know, it wasn't as good as Euphoria. Oh yeah, it it wasn't. But uh, the funny thing about this is, um, he's talking about the OVO uh, mole, and uh, the people in the OVO does not do not like him. They're not his friends, and uh, there's two people standing close to him that are. Uh, or not? Did did yeah? There's definitely uh, I know this for a fact. There's somebody in Nike, who's the same person that represents Travis Scott and motherfucking uh Drake and Kendrick. That could be a connection right there. But check it out. Did an o- uh, OVO member sent the picture of blackface g- blackface Drake to one of our homies who sent that shit straight to Pusha T. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So boom, niggas OVO really don't like this dude. So hearing that right there is like, yo, you kind of right. The people around him are not good to him. And it like like uh, your man said, if you have so many, all these people are going to Drake, don't like Drake. Uh, the problem got to be you. you know what I'm saying the problem got to be Drake. Something about Drake is not good. Yeah. Something, something's yeah, fucked is up. Is it or is it? And here, let's play devil's advocate. You know, is Drake really this this secret scumbag, petty dude that everybody's making him out to be? Or is he a victim of his own success? Is it because he's at the top of the game? You know, he's the most visible, the biggest target there is that he has people coming after him. I personally, I'm I'm like you, Luki. I really feel like, you know, obviously, you gotta be a dirt you don't, bag, bro. <laughs> yeah, you don't earn you don't earn the 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 disrespect of so many people who in the case of, for example, in the case of Future, who used to be cool with you, that used to be your people. In the case of Kendrick Lamar, too, that used to be your people. Y'all was always riding together. All these but people now, that used to ride with you. Yeah, everybody you used to kick it with now is like, nah, I don't rock with them. And it's not like they all not kicking it with each other. But they mm. also, you know, there's always the saying that uh, your enemies will rather team up with each other. What is it? The, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Maybe that's what we're seeing going on. I don't know, but I really think, yeah, I, I definitely got to lean into 
I really think Drake is probably uh, a doucher. You know, he probably think, moves in a certain way. That I think he's has, a goof. Has, I think yeah. he's a goof, but he's also a nice guy, and nice guys get taken advantage of. And yeah. you're going to find with any level of success, mm. any, any large measure of success, you have to be a really good judge of character and be able to say no to people or else you are going to get fucked. And mm. there's going to yeah. be plenty of people that say they're in your corner and they're draining your bank account. Yeah, I know. I think Drake, I don't doubt that. I, I, I've always felt that Drake is the person who tries to get over and sweet talk people and take advantage of them. I, that's, that's why I buy. too. That's why. That's why I don't like the Good guy thing. at my job. I don't know Drake. I uh, I just pick up on vibes like that. The incel vibes, the vibes where he can say shit to you and take advantage of you and and get from you what you want. Like like for example, my homie L's would like, uh, let's go, uh, man. You wanna um go get a let's go get go get some beers. So we go to the store. Thought thought this, this man gonna buy the beers. Get up there. It's on you, right? Like nah, it ain't on me. What the fuck? You, we walk down here together. You said you wanna get. You, you said had, you want to get a beer. I, I'll buy a beer for myself, motherfucker. Word. You ain't got no money. Word. You want to go get food? You, you, I, that's why I figured Drake is. Uh, I think Els does a lot of that shit. Uh, and that's why people <laughs> don't fuck. And that's why people don't fuck with Els. Uh, Drake is. I, f- I feel like he's the same way. We don't know for sure. We don't know this dude. But too many people don't like him. No, no. Does people not don't like Jay Z like this? Do people not like Nas like this? Do people not like DMX like this? I no, the I motherfuckers hear, are still loved. Yeah, I didn't you know hear. You know, people, people, their peers, the peers of those three people that you just mentioned. You don't really hear people being like, "Oh, I don't rock with him." Like yeah, for example, Jay Z, they be like, "Oh, Hove, oh Hove did this." Oh, we, you know, we whenever we see Hove, it's love, or you know, especially oh, we saw Esco the other day. Oh, it's love. You know, when DMX yeah. was alive, rest in peace, you know, it, it was, you know, people are like, oh, dog, dog crazy. You know, like you didn't really hear too many stories about like, oh, yeah, no, we don't we don't rock with him. or We didn't fuck with dude or whatever the case mm-hmm. is. And, these, you know, Snoop Dogg, think about it. Snoop Dogg got all the money in the world. He got all the status in the world. And I mean, I haven't heard anybody really <laughs> Real be shit. mad at Snoop other than Suge Knight. Right. You know, other than, mm-hmm. you know, various random uh, Long Beach gang members who feel like Snoop isn't coming back to the hood enough or whatever the case mm-hmm. is, you know. But mm-hmm. aside from that, man, yeah, you know, I, I think it's just like we've all kind of said, man, you know, it's not a coincidence when everybody doesn't like you. You know, there's something not there's true. something deeper. There's something deeper there. Awesome. You're doing you're doing something. And like I said, again, it goes back to my theory being that you know he's a uh, he's really on a revenge tour right and i can see him he's probably the type of dude that'd be like yeah yeah come on man i'm having a party everybody come out and then you know your name isn't on the list when you get to the door you know what <laughs> i mean something like that yeah. or this might happen you invite the girl to the party you have a party and you come to the oh, party yeah. and, and she's the only one there uh let's continue to go on this song family matters you the black messiah waffling up, wifing up a mixed queen, a hit of vanilla cream will help out with your mm. self-esteem on some mm. body shit. I want to know what Whitney need. I mean, that was a pretty mm. t- kind of hotline. But yeah, uh, so now, now we're uh, talking. Okay. Let's yeah, talk he, about yeah, it. Let's come up a cuts. But um, I think he brought up Millie Bobby again. He keeps on bringing up Millie Bobby. He's the only one bringing up Millie Bobby. Stop bringing up that little girl. Leave, leave that alone. You're the only one saying her name. Why you? That's why he doesn't have good friends and good PR. He must have fired his PR people and got new PR people. How old is she now? She's probably like Legal. I don't know. I don't know. She no. She was fourteen at the time, so she's probably like eighteen now. Yeah, so she like yeah, she nineteen twenty something like that. But still, man, I don't know. But yeah, man, I mean, still. I don't know why. I mean, personally, when that came out that he Weird. was like hanging out with her, yeah, it she's was twenty, like. It's like, yo, that's weird. Why are you why are you being befriending this girl? Like, who cares if she's on Stranger Things and you know, like she's a big star? Like, that's still weird, fam. Like, that's super weird. Like, yeah. Well, why that's, that's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's that's a very, that happens. Yeah. But that happens. And uh he's been known to like like uh women that are young. They don't really mm. know nothing. R. Kelly is you know known to like women that are young too. 
There you go. Huh. Uh, and like, get him ready. Uh, but um, Seems like he keeps on bringing up her name. He keeps on bringing up her name. Stop bringing up her name. For one, it does no justice to her or you. And he's the only one bringing her up in in mm-hmm. songs. I don't think Kendrick even has said her name. Wait. I think I said the same to you about Raven Simone. <laughs> I know, but she but she has never been. She looks like Benzino now. <laughs> Wait, which yeah. Benzino? The the uh, the, the, the now boy Benzino, dog and no neck Benzino. Yeah, yeah, the now Benzino. She oh, got I gotta see that. Eyebrow. No, she yeah, doesn't. I, hey, Raven, let me see. Hey, yo, let me Carl, see. She look like Benzino or not? Yeah, yeah. I laughed a bunch when you sent both me that. Both of y'all, both of y'all, getting down on Raven Simone said she looked like Benzino. Man. I see this girl and she looked like Benzino, man. I'm gonna lose it. You know, okay, boom. Okay, done. Boom, boom, boom. That's why you're looking for it. Uh, what's next? What's next to happen, Carl? All right. So May third was Family Matters. May fourth, Kendrick comes back with two. Meet the Grams and less than twenty four hours later, not like us. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Now, now we're talking. Meet the Grams was mwah, mwah, to, mwah. to me, that was, might, that was fire. Yeah, y'all, y'all might not agree with me. This is one of the best diss tracks. It's top ten diss tracks has to be. Mm. Look, 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 look. Meet My the Grams. I have to listen to it a couple more times, but I, I looked. It was at good. my daughter. I looked at my daughter while she was sleeping and I prayed over her. <laughs> I prayed over her. I said, look, dear Heavenly Father, you know my heart. You know my actions. Please do not let her ever fall victim to a Drake ever in her life. Please, God, give me the, the, the yeah. confidence and, the, and guidance uh, so I can be a better man and example for her so she does not fall victim or pray to a man like this. And that's when I knew the beef was over. Then, mm-hmm. you know, each verse that's, that's, a ma- scary, that's major yes in the scary soundscape produced by none other than who Alan the chemist man alchemist and I was wondering Alan why I like the beat there's a great beat and now that's mm-hmm. why I said Drake needs a future wave beat he's from fucking Toronto absolutely Get this right. nigga that's the only way you can win stop making party party songs and make a song about freaking Kendrick you know what I'm saying he needed a future wave beat something dark something scary Future Wave is the Toronto alchemist. Jesus Christ, he is. Uh, Family Matters was another kind of a clubby song. Uh, but Meet the Grams. Oh, this, this, uh, also the Al Green sample, I guess, for uh, 616 in LA, which had a yeah. lot of different meanings to it. That was yeah. actually a pretty good beat. But this, Meet the Grams, when he talks about Adonis, and I don't know when Adonis is turning 18, but if I still got Twitter or threads or whatever, I am tweeting him a million times, say, listen to this song. Listen to this song. Listen to this song. Because Kendra says, when you're 18, listen to the song, Adonis. Listen to it. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, yeah, you don't understand me now. Then the second verse, what happens? He talks to his mother. Yeah. He says he's a horrible person. Uh, yeah. Uh, shit. Then he talks about Dennis, his father, saying, saying yeah. definitely you're doing uh, your son a favor because it gives valili- val- val- validity? Validity. Validity. Validity to your blackness by having you around. You know what I'm saying? Which, and so he said, ask for money, well, for more money for this dude. Ask, ask Aubrey for more money. Then oh he goes God. to, yeah, then he goes to his unclaimed daughter, 11-year-old daughter, who's probably now NBA. Now good. Yeah. Maybe. Indie, Which maybe Drake has there. gone on and, and yeah. like made a video or something about on, um, hey, if somebody finds my daughter, bring her to me or something. That's why I know oh, not made, but he that's also he made a statement. He also made a statement that that was um, uh, from inside their camp. It was uh, after that. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Keep going. Keep all right. Yeah. Hold, hold, hold on. Yeah, we got to go back a little bit. Grant. OK, boom. Before he said that, uh, le- he said, I have 11 year daughter. Y'all niggas in shambles. And he was laughing. Then, OK, all these pedophile allegations. You want to talk about your your daughter? You, you're un- you got caught a pedophile in the beard. You want to, and you th- only concerned about eleven year old daughter. That's, that's not, not true. That's, I don't have a daughter. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm a pedophile, though. <laughs> but but he uh, he texts academics. Academics said he texted him and said, "If you can find my eleven year old daughter, I'll quit rapping. I'll come work for you." Yeah, that you is kind of like that is kind of like you know you stole that bicycle and burned that house down. I didn't steal that bike. <laughs> I didn't steal any bike? I don't that steal. Is wild. 
So him going and saying this is inside, this is information that they fed Kendrick to me is bullshit because oh, of all oh, that right no, there. You he jumped said. ahead. You jumped go ahead, ahead, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Get, 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 I was get, gonna get say, me. Free much, no, I was just going to say, you don't, don't jump too far ahead because this is, now we're entering into the, the, the more fun part of this, this, uh, Fairy tale drama that we're there's watching, more, right? There's still there's still more bars but, in this Meet the Grams that yo, was like the Grams was I, I love the concept of it, man, of him oh sitting God. there talking to the family. Like that's hilarious, man. I again, like I said, I, it's this is hilarious. This is entertainment, man. I'm loving it. It's hilarious. I, the, the um most hurtful bars to me uh was he said, Why believe you? You never gave us nothing to believe in. And that right there made me realize Drake got like 10 albums, huh? Most of that shit is superficial, fun bullshit. Now, I'm not, not really super mad because a lot of music I listen to, the uh, gangster rap has no real nutritional, mindful value to it as well. You got a few shit laced in there with Mob Deep and shit like that. You do do. But this has been... You don't got nothing for us to believe in. Then he talked about all the lies he spreads constantly. But we don't believe you. You never gave us nothing to believe in. That right there hit me like, I'm like, oh, shit. I, I don't know why that ball really hit me. I, I know why, because I don't know. I think Drake is a bullshit anyway. Everything. Like I said, insult vibes. But that, that was the biggest one for me, yo. Yeah. But here's the <laughs> thing again. Um, Kendrick, and this is this is one point where I feel like Kendrick was kind of stepping outside of, you know, he was stepping over it. Drake, <laughs> him saying Drake has never given us anything or given the people anything to believe in. No, he hasn't. He's a pop star. He's a pop Come idol, on, bro. rapper. Pop he's not still, trying to still make Kelly Clarkson. He, Gave, no. Yeah, that's like that was like, he gave it. Come on, man. That's, okay, well on. then, how about this? Well then, how about this, man? Him, him doing that, uh, is is wrong because that hotline bling shit. You used to call me on yourself. That shit was crazy. Uh, that's a cool song, uh, but that's not anything to to you just any I substance, mean, is it, Carl? I know when my hotline for, bling. It's <laughs> it's substance for people that was used to be getting them booty calls and they didn't get them booty calls no more. Come Absolutely. on, that's not substance. That's not substance, though. That's man, still whatever, some man. bullshit. But he's whatever, again, whatever, the bro. point. The point I like I'm that song too. It's so like Mario Kart. Mario. That's what I'm trying Mario. to tell Star you, Wars. man. He Drake Star, is Star, a Star pop Wars. dude, man. He makes pop music, pop rap that that is good for uh, pulling on your emotional strings, man. He's not he's not trying to kick science. He's not trying to kick knowledge to nobody. So man, that's like that's a redundancy. That. I love it. That's I love that. I love that. I love of that course, bar, he did it. All he, all he gave me to believe in was that uh, women are going to break your heart, and when they do, you break their heart, and you continue to be a certified lover boy. That's Drake. That's Drake's dogma. I don't look like I said. I, he's a fuck boy. All right. He is the definition. He makes fuck boy music. You know, like every woman who is listening will confirm that and be like, "Yeah, that's true." Yeah. If you're it, just like you said. If you're a Drake fan as a dude, that raises a red flag to me personally. Oh, man, yo, like, I, I mean, shit. you're 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 probably a fuckboy. Like you 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 probably leave long messages on girls' voicemails. <laughs> and you, cry. you know, all types of all types of lame shit. I know you do. I know you do. I mean, like the dude at my job, man. Like he argued with his girl for like three, four hours. Like matter of fact, we throw all shit around the belt, and like he'll stop. We'll be like, why is the, the boxes moving around the belt no more? He up in the he, top of the belt, arguing on the phone with his girl. Yep. I'm like, yo, he's, who, he's arguing. Who, 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 like, mm -hmm. who likes to argue Fuck with boy. someone like that? Yeah, there you go. Like I said, the motherfucker likes Gunna and Drake, the pure recipe for a fuck nigga. Yeah, he's Tinderoni. a Tinderoni. Yeah. Okay, boom. Names of the devil, the Prince of Darkness, Beelzebub, uh, Lord of Flies, the Antichrist, the yep. Father of uh -huh. Lies. Mm -hmm. uh, another name that there's not on here, the Adversary. Yeah. That's Drake. He's the adversary. <laughs> well, I was gonna. I thought. See, I thought you were gonna go one step further and say, "What's oh, another oh, name of the devil?" Drake. Real shit. Damn. Man. Drake. Draco. The dragon. 
Mm-hmm. That's that was you know when Drake first came out and and he was on his rise, his ascension. You know, everybody who was halfway woke, quote unquote, knowledgeable woke, mm-hmm. not not in the slur term, but mm-hmm. you know they, that's what they were trying to be like. They were trying to be like, yeah, you know, obviously he's he's working for them them people because his mm-hmm. name is is derived from the devil. It's dragon, yeah, the old English dragon. And they got the whole he's the dragon, Illuminati owl shit, all that shit. I'm trying to tell you, yeah, you know, Latin. all the symbolism, etc. It's Latin you know? for drag for dragon, but it's really yeah. really his name, right? No, his, his name, name is Aubrey. Is Aubrey, but his, his real name is, is Drake, Graham. right? No, he made up Drake as a rapper name. His middle, that's his rapper his, name. His middle name is Drake. Oh, is Aubrey it Drake Graham? Yeah. I don't know nothing about the man other than he's from Canada, bro. Don't ask me. <laughs> his, his real name is I, I know he was on TV. I know he. I know he was wheelchair Jimmy. You Isn't know, he I mean? six foot. I still don't want yeah. him on a basketball team. And this is, oh, yeah. is it his mom is Jewish, I believe? Yes. Yeah, but how she end up with a black man? That shit is wild. We could be black and Jewish. Mean? Jewish is not a religious. That's, Jewish is not really yeah. a religion. Jewish is like, well, Jewish, Jewish is not like, it's okay, boom, but it's not. It's an ethnicity mm-hmm. and a religion. Yeah, there you go. It Aubrey depends. Drake Graham. Some people can be Jewish and not be practicing. ethnically Jewish. And some Jewish. people can be ethnically Jewish and not be a practicing Jewish right. person. They were just born in Jer- Jerusalem. Correct. Yep. Yeah. It's 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 a uh, very fascinating. It's very fascinating. Yeah. Boom. So Aubrey Drake Graham is his motherfucking name. This is real. His Who real knew? Name. I didn't know that. I, thanks, I knew. Thanks, Luki. I knew. I knew. Gave me uh, gave me a fact to it that I'm old. Flush. Oh yeah. Okay. Boom. And his dad was drug related charges. Blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, that's why he likes Memphis because Memphis is. Where's Dash from? Anyway, boom. Let's go. Continue. Let's continue. Uh, we we're at. Um, so yeah, the not, second yeah. one, the second one Kendrick dropped was not like us, and he doubles down on the pedophile. <laughs> yo, oh, yo, which made like me like laugh us. just because you know I I know other rappers that have used pedophile as a uh, as a burn. Yeah, just hey, like man. we know. Uh, Ollie, we, we know the <laughs> we know the trendsetter who 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 kicked that off. Uh, you yeah, know what I mean? But, like, shout out Luke really Cage. Think that, I didn't think <laughs> that nigga was a pedophile though. This, I, that's, that's, I, I didn't think I was a play on word. I, I mean, yeah, I didn't 2020, think that, yeah. 2024, that's the that's the year of the You know what I mean? <laughs> 2024 is the pedophile. Huh? <laughs> they trying to get people taken up out of here, man, because that's a deadly that's a deadly thing uh, to say about people. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna share this. Uh, Pro Dillinger hit me up after I did that shit and he was tight. You know what I'm saying? He was he said, That's the most horrible thing you could call somebody. Cause I didn't know him. I hit, hit you up. Green. I was like, yeah. yo, that's yo. insane, bro. Yeah. Word. I was like, I, yeah, I was then, like, then, wow, why you do that? The, the pro hit me back and was like, uh, man, it's all right, man. Blah, 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 blah. But he was like, yo, that's the worst thing. <laughs> he was tight, man. I hit I hit uh Born King. I said, Oh shit, Pro Dillinger mad at me too. I was, I was, I was, I was, sad. I was upset. I was like, bro, man, Pro mad at me, man. Fuck. <laughs> Still a pedophile. Fuck that nigga. Anyway, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no. So anyway, so uh, like not like us, mm-hmm. yo. I think I think that is an example of Kendrick battling drake on drake's ground right yes he made a he made a party song he made a, a dance song and i i mean the cali people love it the cali kids i've seen the videos man i've yeah, seen them they, they they blood walking or blood bopping and crip walking and it's doing that all that stuff to it oh, that's it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's a pure cali song man it's a cu- shout out shout hey, out cali hey, man dj mustard how about this? Yeah, Mustard did that. This, Shout out Mustard. I, I like Mustard production. I took this as a victory lap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did kind of feel like he was dancing on his it grave. Was, like, it, nah, it, guys, <laughs> yeah, it was. I, I thought it was over with, and I thought this this lap that song was definitely a victory lap, yo. He I thought it was it was kind of like it was kind of like kids teabagging in Fortnite. Oh my uh, god! Yeah. Just I, I to add insult to injury, definitely De- that. Oh, yeah, just to, to throw it to throw it back in your face in your style. 
mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. the most disrespectful way you can say, mm-hmm. oh, you got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. But not only that, he styled on him harder than than Drake did because like again, he he did a dance song or he did a party song, but he still did it in a way where it sounded authentic. It was, you know, hype upbeat. It was definitely something for people to dance to, right? It was mm-hmm. definitely a feel good mindless song like what drake (laughs) makes right when drake teams up with uh jb block boy when jake teams up with sexy red when you know when he teams up with all these people and he he lends his uh and this is some of the stuff that drake does that i really applaud him for that he lends his uh credibility in the pop world the pop ear to these emerging artists and all that he asks in return from them is that they lend him their authenticity in the the street world, right? Or in the 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 dirty the dirty of the dirt grime music. So uh, you know, it's, it's a it's a symbiotic re- relationship type thing. So, he is Kakashi, so the copy ninja. When he does it, it's okay. But when Russ does it, it's not. Russ does it bad. I don't think it's the same that? thing. I don't think it's the same thing. Because Russ, as we've all seen, Russ, first of all, really feels like he is uh, the greatest dude to ever do things, right? He really, uh, Russ suffers from these delusions of grandeur, right? They both Russ, <laughs> yeah, but here's the difference, man. Like, Drake is universally loved. Russ is not universally loved, right? Not at all. Um, I think regardless of what Kendrick want to say, Drake can still come to anybody's barbecue and they go back. Oh shit. Drake here. Make him a plate. Girls, girl, everybody's going to love Drake. I'm sorry. People, people regular, love Drake at the reg at the regular, at the regular people, not us, Carl, mm-hmm. but not, yeah. not, Thank not, you, not, not us. You but, see what I'm saying? But, but, the, but the at, regular at, normal, yeah. if he pulled up in oh, the hood somewhere, oh, man, I'm, yeah, I'm coming it, in. I guarantee you they going to, I mean, unless it's obviously, unless it's, uh, Compton, Bompton, you know what I mean? Nowhere in Cali. If, um, yeah, nowhere in Cali at this point right now, but um, if he pulls up somewhere in, in the hood, people are going to be like, oh shit, it's Drake. Oh yeah, come kick it, Drake. And they gonna, they mama going to take pictures with Drake, they sisters, everybody going to take pictures, and Drake going to be sitting there like, ha ha, yeah. You, they say Drake, they say Drake yeah. can't come to the hood. Ha ha ha. You know what I mean? I, I think it's Drake can go to the hood. His fan base uh, kind of got slightly a tad bit because of the pedophile pedophile rumors. You see a lot, a lot of shit. It took did this this beef did damage to his reputation. Not the song of Ad, Ad, uh, Adonis. That song right there did not do any damage to that reputation. That didn't do anything. Yeah, nobody This cares. right here, this right here, he's a laughing stock right now to a lot of people. Well, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Just as quickly as those words went out and those uh, hurt feelings started to develop that you're talking about. So many people have jumped up to defend Drake. So many, like we may not be in the middle of it, but there are definitely like um, all the little college kids that, you know how Drake pops up to people's colleges and does stuff. They're popping up like, yo, Drake, you know, Drake's cool. He came here he didn't try to sleep with me or my friends. He just bought us all sneakers and said he wanted to hang out for the weekend. And he and he did. You know what I mean? Like there for all of the allegations that Michael we're Jackson. hearing and all the Yeah, da, 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 you know. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Cause I look, I mean, may, hey, maybe the Michael Jackson. Look, I'm never gonna hate on Michael, but if you ask if you ask Bless, he calls him everything but a child of God. <laughs> I'll tell you that, man. But um <laughs> But Joe, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, man, like maybe two things can be right, but I really kind of feel like, and yeah, take, oh, Carl, yeah, now this is a great transition. Carl, take us to the aftermath of Not Like Us. What came after that? Isn't that Drake's uh, revenge track? The heart part six. This This is horrible, man. This is when it gets diabolical. This is. This is the the cliffhanger, the season ending cliffhanger that was a not, part not, two. Not really. Go ahead. Oh, not, not really a cliffhanger. Okay. Go, go, Carl. Go please. No, no, no. You go. You got a head of steam going. 
Oh man, no, I'm just uh, saying. I love man. look the the hard part six, aka we planted all this information because we wanted to see you crash out. <laughs> how how like if if they really did this, if they really did this. That's diabolical. And I don't doubt it because it's, Drake's a fuckboy. So I could see him Primo jab. like coming Stop. up with something like this. Stop. You don't you don't think that they planted the information? No. They no. Say that Drake has you know what that is? Kid? You remember earlier when I said daughter? you know when I said earlier that it was two guys pushing each other and then one of them took a swing and the other one didn't realize they were actually in a fight? This is afterwards him going, I meant to get hit like that. I let Ooh. him hit me. Yeah, that Ooh. type of shit. Um, also, you have to realize okay. in this thing right here, the people in the comments on YouTube told him to do this. They even named the song on YouTube. The Heart Part 6. There's a tweet that said that. There's another tweet saying that they, you should say, say that they leaked information and do this. Yeah, the, that the is whole true. Shit, the whole Which shit came first, where he texted, chicken or the egg? There you go. The whole shit where he texted because mm. Drake be all in the comments. He does. You know where he, he texts academics said if you could find eleven year old daughter, I will stop work for you. That sounds don't sound. If you planted information, you're gonna be like, oh, he fell for it. Oh, uh, we got you because you happy he fell for the bait. Well, Not that's what he said defense. in the rap, though. That's what he, he said, said in, in the, the rap after this happened. He the, he said he tweeted and stuff right after he heard the song. The song came. How many days later? May 5th? May 5th. So the so day song, after. Yeah, day it was after. the very next day, right? Yeah. Yes. But uh, no, not like us was May 4th. Yeah, it was really May late 4th. May 4th. Yeah, but all those tweets and stuff, it wasn't nothing. nothing. He, he made that shit up. He made that story, this stupid story that, um, cool, it's damage control. That's what it was. Mm. And you could tell by the tone of his voice. He, it's not the push us voice. He turned to his voice and said, I'm tired of dissing you. Then he took that thing. He st- said his, uh, and all his comebacks were bullshit. Uh, um, the whole thing about, um, you were getting molested. If you're a pedophile, I wouldn't make fun of nobody being molested. Uh, a whole yeah. Millie Bobby brought up again. Uh, the Epstein, the flex, he's saying, uh, if I, if I was fucking with underage girl, I'd be locked up right now. Uh, all this shit is, but wow. the whole thing was on a defensive stance. He wasn't talking yes. about Kendrick. Yeah, he was talking about true. what Kendrick said. Yeah. Well, the only time he stupid. did choose to talk about Kendrick was when he was like, you're a domestic abuser. Uh, your kid isn't yours. You are you know, you don't even live at home with your kids. I mean, beating up uh, Drake are, isn't domestic your wife abuse. Left. <laughs> you know, he's talking about his wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought he was calling the cops or something. Oh, Drake was like he he domestically uh-uh. abused me. Uh-uh. No, no, he, he said he said that Kendrick Lamar uh, beat his wife Whitney yeah, or whatever yeah, because mm-hmm. his baby isn't his. His baby is like some dude that hangs around Kendrick Lamar or something. Some and, some 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 of the top top dog. Yeah, uh, somebody somebody else like Dave. Or somebody is the dude. They say about day free, day and, freeze, or whatever. Yeah, and supposedly, like, if you were to go look him up right now, like him and Kendrick Lamar's wife follow each other. Kendrick Lamar's wife doesn't follow because they broke Kendrick up Lamar anymore. They broke up in Mr. Yeah. Morale. That's they. They even says in the song. Well, yeah, because he cheated on her or whatever. Yeah, so they're broken up. They've yeah. been broken up. So, but that's the other thing I thought I thought was kind of whack about Drake, like going back um, for him to try to like everybody who tried to make this into like they they were jumping to the conclusion that Kendrick Lamar was getting on Drake because he was mixed or something like that. And then they tried to turn it into. um, Well, you're a hypocrite because you have a mixed a mixed wife. Your wife isn't even black. And it's like, but. See, now y'all are playing these weird games. Kendrick Lamar never got on Drake because he was mixed. He got on him because he is a cultural parasite. Mm. It's not about him being a fake black person or, or being a mixed person, a person of mixed race heritage. 
No, it's about him inserting himself into hip hop trends when he finds that is convenient and it will enrich uh, him. And that he is black. truly he is truly not caring about any of the cultural nuances or relevance of these movements that he inserts himself into. He just does it because it's hot at the moment and he wants to get paid. Well and because because he's a pop star. Well and go I'll, ahead, Carol. I'll say this. So anybody that thinks that that Kendrick's issue is color obviously didn't listen to the tracks because he has way more issues with Drake than that. Yeah, yes. it's, it's way, <laughs> like it's way it was ahead. evident. It was evident his his list is long. Mm. It yeah. is the Epstein angle, the shit I expected. If you expect someone to t- uh, <laughs> pay to Epstein, that's why do not you, why good. Do you, yeah, that means that means that you're Yo. you know you're doing questionable activities. That yeah, when would I probably say that when I was driving around without car insurance, I expected to get pulled over all the time. You just worry yeah. about that shit. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> yeah, that should yeah, be a, that exactly. should be a cut. That if you a clip right if there. you don't, <laughs> get, if you got insurance. <laughs> You ain't worried yeah. about it. Yeah. But like I said, oh, yeah, I think you brought, up Millie, it, you brought up Millie Bobby again. I'm like, yo, stop bringing up this little girl's name, man. She's 20 now. I mean, you can go fuck her now, Drake, but still, she can't drink beer in America, yeah, right? Man. You can buy some cigarettes. <laughs> right? Wow. Anyway, yeah. boom. But um, You can smoke cigarettes and do uh, hood rat shit with your friends, baby. Yeah, but then he said... Um, just let me know when we're getting to the facts. Everything uh, in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor. Nigga, this is rap beef, nigga. Mm. Shut the fuck up. Take take this dick, bitch. Ken- Kendrick, Kendrick said it the best. Kendrick said it the best. He said, you stop telling lies about me, I won't tell the truth stop about truth you. About you. That's, that was yo. the hottest line. Drake tried to flip it on his own at the end of that song, and I really was like, mm, you get a thumb down. Like you tried really hard. I can tell you tried really hard with this song too. Yeah. You know what I mean? You really tried hard and it's still not wrong. You know what I mean? It's still not True wrong. Indeed. It's we, we it was your best it. effort, but it wasn't wrong. It was a it was not a good effort. The heart six was not good. I'm gonna wrap that's this up because we dedicate No, that's not a good effort. The best effort was push ups and family matters. This no, is in his six. mind. In yes, his yes. mind. No, 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 no. His PR failed him. They should never have let him release this track. And shouldn't have said whatever he said, but he wanted to put it out quick because Kendrick was putting shit out quick. You know what I'm saying? They wanted, they wanted to, to do that, but his PR failed him. That it shows to me he has no real friends to sit down. Hey, Drake, I should be your friend and be your... I don't like you, but I should be your counsel to tell you to not say and do certain shits to help you out. Cause this shit is making you look horrible, my dude. Okay, if um, Lukey is the the Jiminy Cricket conscience on your shoulder, we are in big fucking trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get your IG account taken away again, again, <laughs> and you're gonna be the one to advise him. Yeah, crazy. I, w- crazy. I would have told him a couple of good things to help him out, and don't say this, don't do that, man. Ah, nigga. Anyway, boom. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we dedicated way too much time for this, but here's the whole oh, great shit. thing about this right here that what happened. Yeah. Um, Makami just released uh, Rich Ass Haitians, the single, with a feature from no other than a Cali nigga. We're going full circle with this. O3 Greedo, who has 2.5 million listeners a mm. month on Spotify. That is a big feature. Uh, the algorithm will put Makami into the O3 Greedo shit, and that will trickle down. You can find stuff by West Side Gun, Conway, uh, other stuff. Then they'll find Conway's albums with Big Ghost, and they'll listen to me. Great. Mm, We're in the six algorithm. degrees of separation. There you go. Yeah. Then now there's like it four because Crime Faces was right by Trump texting me. Holy right. shit. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I want him to punch him. He didn't do it, but still. Um, there you go. Let me go. <laughs> then we go around to this right here. Um, Alchemist did the uh, Meet the Grams beat. Someone uh, uh, will be like, Alchemist did this beat. I like this type of music. Who have never heard of nothing, no music like this? They'll find a Larry June album and they'll be like, oh, this shit is great. Then they'll find the Freddie Gibbs album. Then they'll find Lulu. Then they'll find the Big Ghost albums and they're white. They'll listen to me. <laughs> mm. This wow. beef 
turned into something that was kind of important to help the algorithm. A little, you might not agree with me out there. Shout out to Easy Money Eddie. I'm going to call him Italian Job Eddie from now on. There you go. Boom. Then you have uh, everybody else out there. Shout out to Isaiah. Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to the All Time Podcast. But I think this shit and stuff like this helps the culture, if not a lot, a little bit. This right here, and knowing the alchemist did this shit, people be like, people don't even listen to the alchemist and listen to Drake. Yeah. People don't even listen to the right. alchemist, listen to Kendrick Lamar. They be like, they see the alchemist did this. So they see on uh, uh, I Still Love Her, uh, the alchemist did this beat. Not uh, all hiphop.com said alchemist did this beat. And they'll go and find alchemist albums. It filters and dirties the algorithm to find the abyss. And I'm happy for that shit. The 03 Greedo feature, uh, do I like it? I kind of do. You know what I'm saying? It's some poppy commercial shit with Makami. Makami's on some future shit kind of, sort of, but he's been on that shit for a long time. Uh, since a long time ago when, remember that show we did? Uh, you did with, um, you weren't there, you weren't in the show, uh, Jab, but uh, God bless, uh, no, 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 what's the nigga name? <sighs> Husk Kingpin was there, uh, Rosewood, DJ Enoch, uh, Greg Scott was there, yeah. was Ante Meridian, my yeah, mm-hmm. was there. My commie was there. And that I was, was right there. before. Yeah, th- I was there too. I, we didn't even know. I, I didn't Crazy. I didn't know he was there, but Wrong we was world. there. We was in the same same room. So um da 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 ding, da 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 ding. Oh man, great scout is awesome. But boom, uh yep. you you have stuff like that. My commie was on some future shit right before he became my commie in that show right there. You know what I'm saying? He was on some I saw I saw the SoundCloud. But um, yeah, anyway. This off dirties the algorithm to benefit us. If you, if I, th- if, if anything, I think that helps with this. So we're covering this. The alchemist having that beat is great. Also, the underground in um, commercial rap music, they're getting closer together a tad bit. You see, Jid is on all these songs with Conway. You know what I'm saying? That's a commercial rapper. So the algorithm is getting dirtier. And my nephew was listening to West Side Gun. <laughs> Word. After watching, That's after listening theory. to, yeah, yeah, I think it is. But he he did not know nothing about the abyss until I went to Missouri and I found out he was listening to MF Doom. And then I told him, listen to all this other shit. Listen to, uh, I'm on this. I'm on this. I was in this group with uh, Young Dirty Bastard. He's like, oh shit, really? He didn't oh, say, oh shit, he don't curse. He don't say nigga nothing like that. <laughs> was, was, but yeah, but now he's finding all this other music and the algorithm is getting dirty. And I appreciate it, even though we're not getting paid off these streams. <laughs> Still, I love the fact that it's getting dirtied up a little bit. Thank you, Alchemist, for uh, making that beat. That, to me, is a top 10 diss song. I listen to it over and over again. It's definitely better than Pusha T's song. I mean, that shit was egregious. What he did, Adonis needs to send him a Christmas card every day. I mean, every Christmas for the rest of his life, because he's going to be an NDA. Like his sister. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Uh, she's not it, real. I, I, <laughs> he doesn't exist, guys. Come on, man. It's misinformation. She, hey, yo, boom. And it's misinformation. He fed that shit. I think I don't think she exists. I don't think she exists. And I think because we don't believe you, because you never gave us something to believe in. You already lied about this, you already about it. So it's so it's yeah. reasonable to think if someone lied to you, to lie again. Correct. That's true. So I think yeah. that's what Kendrick kind of did. I hope he did. I don't want no little girl out there uh, to be followed by Drake. <laughs> that's fucked up. Uh, yeah. Damn. I don't. He don't deserve no daughter. You know what I'm saying? Word. Anyway, word. I think he's. That's a lie, and I think uh, it's made up. It's battle rap, though. Yeah. So I don't know. And I think that Drake lied about that being information fed to his him. And, he mm-hmm. fed the Kendrick Lamar in his camp. I we'll think see. Both... We'll see in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, man. I'm sure there's yeah. gonna be another another one coming soon. Yeah, I don't think this is over. I don't think it's over. Wait, we'll see. But it doesn't matter. The, the algorithm is dirtied up, and the little girl will come out and find out who her father is when she's 18 or 20, and she'll say something. Uh, but her mom's probably still getting paid off that NDA. You know what I'm saying? Shut mm-hmm. your fucking mouth. You're not my daughter. He said, "Have a kid to hide a kid." Mm. So we'll see. It's great. So something else drops by this time and that next time. Great. To me, it's over with. It's been over with. Congrats. What do you think about the new diss tracks? 
What are the how are the Knicks doing right now? Right now we're up one zero. Word. Fuck Tyrese Halberton in his girly jump shot. Not no no this is Caitlin Clark, but he shoots like how Cla- Caitlin Clark should shoot. You know what I'm saying? Word. That's rough. <laughs> bitch, bitch ass nigga. Fuck Indiana Pacers. I love them niggas. Halberton's dope. He's good. He's a bucket, man. Yeah. Any final thoughts? <laughs> um yeah, Fuck honestly, I you know, I I agree Sorry. with you. There's definitely a you know, uh, an effect that will happen as far as, you know, people kind of finding more through that alchemist track. Um, and I mean, it's obviously been entertaining. I wasn't mm-hmm. really into it until Kendrick Lamar really kind of dropped a bomb. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it became interesting to me because there again, we're used to rappers rapping and, you know, we weren't hearing we a whole lot of that until Kendrick <laughs> right. came in and, and really kind of, stop things and i think with <laughs> not counting the initial track they they each dropped four um i mean it's pretty clear cut that kendrick made a statement and you know drake got defensive and if that doesn't tell you who won i don't, I don't know what to do for you what you just said was we're used to rappers rapping that's mm. it that's mm. real shit so we're not really easily impressed. I was thoroughly impressed with Meet the Grams. I still am. You know I'm saying the concept behind it and all that. So you're right. Uh, it wasn't really entertaining until your four year dropped, and I didn't think that was all that great. It was all right, but Meet the all Grams right. really. Was- In comparison, I think part of it was we were have lowered expectations at that point. Um, mm-hmm. and then Kendrick, I think, dropped good bars. Mm-hmm. Meet the Grams is obviously the best out of it. True, sure, indeed. Well, the one is not like us. If you're in Cali, that's the best song because you can get the crib. If you're a Jay Worthy fan, you're dancing like a motherfucker to that shit. Now that's right. the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, yeah the, the 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 victory lap. Primo Jack, what you think, real quick, before we hop off this shit? Yo, man, I really, I really applaud you, Lukey, for your synopsis of of how you've put all this together. And Carl, thanks again for the timeline because I really needed to yeah. visualize this whole chain of events that's led to this. I'm really happy about it. Number one, like you said, first and foremost, Carl, again, you've been dropping bombs this whole episode, but <laughs> the the fact is right. Yeah, man, we used to MCs who, who rap, man, like, you know, so this is, this was nothing to us. Like this wasn't even a blip on the radar. We were like, oh yeah, these guys are going at it. Great. Like, you know, for whatever reason, this has become the distraction de jour of the mainstream world, right? And that's great. Hey, I'm happy. I'm happy, like you said, Luki, that now maybe some more people are going to be like, yo, who made this beat? This guy, the alchemist? Oh, have you ever heard of him? Oh, man, he made a bunch Is of Is he songs. brand new? Yeah, right. Hey, great. A whole new, a whole new ears are going to get exposed, and who knows how far down that rabbit hole they're going to go? Who knows how deep they're going to go into the abyss? So yeah, I I love that that correlation that mm. you discovered there and that you saw there, but also I love that people in general have gotten so riled up about this, and and I've enjoyed just watching the comments and everything online, the the videos that people are making where they're trying de- to debunk Kendrick's lines and trying to say it was referencing this and they're doing all these, oh, this yeah. is this and oh, this is this. Like, they they care about lyrics again. And I, I, I'm i not That's trying to saying. measure the quality of, of what either of the gentlemen are saying. To me, it's all fun and games. It's hilarious, man. I listen to real music. Shout out Rome and motherfucking uh, Wavy the God. Wavy the God. If, you ain't, if you ain't heard that buck 50, yeah. uh, you, that's, that's, now we talking, but I that's digress. Lyricism and beats. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because that buck fifty is that's that's six songs of poison, man. Rome, you know. Let me take a, a, a small sidebar. Rome went insane on that album, and it's just six songs. And he's definitely Rome is rapping like somebody that gives a fuck about rhyming good. Oh yeah, you understand what I'm saying? He's spitting some some poison, and Wavy just laced him with six six little crack vials of death. So, mm-hmm. you know, shout out to those two. 
But I say all that to say I'm just happy to see that people are passionate enough that they really want to try to sit and compare the lyricism of Drake versus the lyricism of of uh, Kendrick Lamar and try to break down this stuff like good. I'm glad you care about this stuff. I'm glad, you know, I'm. it always is. It, it, it brings a tear to my eye to see, you know, a new person start learning about stuff that I've known about and I might take for granted. I want to see them happy, you know, trying to get into it. Maybe, mm-hmm. like you said, maybe it leads them into a, a direction where they do stumble upon the newest Rome or the newest mm-hmm. Substance 810, you know what I mean? The the mm-hmm. port. Tuh, that's another tough one. Don't get me started, man. But yeah, so it's cool. It's cool. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's just entertainment. I love it's it. Indeed. It's hilarious. Mm-hmm. It's It's funny. Yeah, this but is yeah, a man. side. This is the side. This is the side show. This is the um. What do you call that motherfucker that you throw tomatoes at? At when you, the one of the king, the gesture of the king's courts over here. That's what I see mm-hmm. this as. But uh, it got real. What I tell I tell you that um, Euphoria dropped, then that uh, the Grams dropped. I was thoroughly impressed with Kendrick. It made me want to go back and listen to some more Kendrick. Well, listen to, I don't listen to Kendrick. See? I don't listen to Drake either. That's a fact. One of the homies. I seen, uh, I seen Kendrick yeah. perform live, and that's, hey, man, that's a minute it for me. k Dot gets busy, man. But I, I yeah, love he, Good Kid Mad City. I think that's a classic album. I have not listened to it. I listen to oh, Pimper yeah, Butterfly. Can, uh, I listen to a, Damn. Man, Good Kid like Mad City like, is a classic album. I don't, I don't really like his voice like that. I don't like Big Sean's voice like that. I, I could tolerate Kendrick. I get it. But I right now I want to go back and listen to Kendry, like to just hear what he was saying. I'll send you a couple. Was, she needs me. I remember she needs me came out, and that's the first song I heard from Kendrick, and I love that song. I still listen to that song today. It's the only song I listen to Kendry. I say he's talking mm-hmm. about probably his his wife or his ex wife Whitney. That's probably what he was talking about. So um, that's why he was signed with Aftermath and all that shit. But uh, long story longer. Um, yeah, this is just the soap opera of hip hop music that we're we're not really in tune with it but it's there we we know the soap operas come on you know what I'm saying we too busy working you know what I'm saying but we know Susan mm-hmm. Lucci's over there you know what I'm saying word so every once in a while when you off work <laughs> and you laying down in the daytime you turn on I'm gonna say General Hospital or All yeah. My Children you know what I'm saying word there you go Thank you Newman know, yeah Come on, Carl. Was that or the Price is Right, or what was going or on? Jimmy Jones or uh, Jenny Maury, Jones? Uh, Ricky Jerry Lake. Springer. Every once in a while, you turn the TV on. It was on ABC. Judge General Judy. Hospital was on. Yeah, uh, me and my sister got yeah, a dance in General You're Hospital. Right. Yeah, we had a dance in General Hospital though. Oh uh, yeah, we do, yo. Da 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 da. One, two, three, high kick. She made me. She forced me to learn that shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we still know it, and we do it in front of my mom. Pause. Whenever we uh yeah, she makes me want to do that dance all the time, the general hospital dance. But anyway, yeah, we know so we ain't fucking with the soap operas, but they there. And uh boom, you can give your thoughts and comments or whatever about this shit. Everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? There could be another song. They couldn't I hope it's over with. I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't want to hear yeah, nothing I don't else. really care no more. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear nothing else. Conclusion. <laughs> yeah, that was it was cool. Please don't make it anymore. Yeah, no good, one else, yeah. we don't clear Please no more. So yeah, after this, you did it. Great. Yeah. They say Kendra got 10 more disses or some shit. Like, stop, bro. Word. You don't need nah, to do that. If he makes a whole man. album dissing Drake, that would be hilarious, though. I co signed that. I'm with that. Nah, that would be hilarious. Man. I mean, it'd be hilarious, <laughs> but it's that would overkill. be hilarious. And I not mean, include any of these four. Like, yo, that would be insane. Eight, yeah, new, totally songs, eight new songs. Eight new songs with skits. Name it Aubrey or some shit. Good yeah, kid, that would, be, that would be hot. No, would, yeah, call it yeah. Degrassi High. Degrassi yeah. High. Oh, oh my God. Featuring song Wheelchair Jimmy. Uh, Wheelchair Jimmy uh, got Cham- shot. Champagne pe- pedo. Pedophile. Uh, pop in the locker. Yeah, pop in the locker. Ah, pop in <laughs> the Millie, locker. M- Millie Rock. <laughs> oh, get his head. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Word. Yeah, 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 this is terrible. Well, we gotta so, get off here. Well, this is crazy. Yeah, get out yeah here, you do that. Get off here. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Future Wave. Me, me and Future Wave shout talk out back Future and Wave, forth man. about this shit. He had brought up a lot of valid points in Drake's behalf, but he already know what time it is. But that's the hero over there, yo. He he made shit hot for the world for Toronto. Put on for Toronto culture. 
You know what I'm saying? And he knows a lot he about did. the interworkings of Toronto. Shout out to Future Wave. Mm -hmm. Please, if you're listening to this, Drake, I hate you. But please, <laughs> I will buy two copies of that Future Wave, Future Wave Drake album, yo. But I don't want to hear no singing. I don't want to hear none of that. A hey, or like, eh, uh, hear your pussy whistle. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Just what? rap. Remember that? I can hear your he pussy whistle. That? No, I don't remember that. that. That's on you, the fucking best. Uh, <laughs> oh, he, oh, that's that. He says that on there. I can make your pussy whistle. I ain't never heard a pussy whistle before. I heard that shit a lot of times, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's the mayonnaise sound. Yeah, yeah. And every time I'm, I'm, it's talking to you, daddy. That's what Ghostface said. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Episode one forty two of the Abyss Podcast. <laughs> Rem remember wow. this on Adonis' eighteenth birthday. Tweet him this. Tweet him, motherfucking the Grams. We'll see y'all next week. Yo, Peace. That's gonna be <laughs>